And so we, we saw the, the surge of uh, many young people leaving from Antwerp and Vilvoord to fight with Daesh. Although many mothers will not, like many families, will not talk about this openly, uh, but in secret, of course, they're very much afraid and still concerned uh, because the, the factors that led to people being, being radicalized, being promised all sorts of things are still present or still there. And I think polarization is, is even bigger now than it was. And I think a lot of families uh, made the mistake which they've, they've learned from now of uh, over depending uh, or depending too much basically on politicians and, and police on basically the state to help them. They underestimated the, the, the important role they play, they can play in, in all of this. I think um, the potential mothers have is, is huge. In all the situations we've come across, they were the, the last piece uh, holding young people back from traveling to Daesh. Once they gain, regain uh, self-confidence and uh, basically break free from, from the shackles of, of cultural elements, the shackles of perceptions, the perception from, from media, the perception, perception from society. It's only then they can really play the role mothers, mothers should be playing within their families. Um, what this project has done is really shown them that they are capable of doing great things and they can, they can uh, save basically a lot of family members with this. They can intervene before things get worse. So the Mother School project uh, was seen basically as this outside project or organization trying to get into Vilvorda. So, the, so we expected a lot of suspicions. There were many, many projects uh, which uh, different organizations attempted and I don't know a single organization that was successful. But once uh, the participants and the mothers were basically uh, introduced to the mother, mother School project, people were really curious about this. They're talking about uh, transforming us into peace ambassadors, into uh, strengthening us, into um, basically expose us to our hidden strengths. So it wasn't the same thing they were promised over and over again. This was really different. They felt it. They went through the Mother School project and they saw the results. It opened up my eyes to the potential uh, a mother has. But, uh, but this, this showed shows Belgium and the whole world that Vilvoord is capable of doing great things and these mothers really have achieved uh, great things in, 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 in this project and, uh, and I think they can be proud of what they've done and I think Vilvoord can be proud as well. And I think we as an organization learned a lot of lessons ourselves because we limited ourselves sometimes or limited the mothers, limited uh, the accomplishments, the achievements the mothers would, uh, would, would achieve. If you as an organization want to push the limits of what your organization is capable of doing in terms of planning, in terms of energy, in terms of achievements, in terms of uh, what you can do with with the, the mother school program, for example, or in the future, perhaps with the father school program or with the youth school program, I would say you have to work with Women Without Borders. If you haven't worked with them yet, you haven't really discovered your full potential yet.